Welcome to NCX Tech. Today I'm excited to show you the tiling cell extension, a powerful tool that transforms how you manage your windows on your GNOME desktop. This extension brings smart window tiling with visual guides, custom gaps and borders for a clean look and powerful keyboard shortcuts for rapid window management. You'll discover features like auto resize to keep your layout balanced, quarter tiling for precise arrangements, and the ability to create custom layouts. Whether you're a developer, content creator, or someone who wants a more organized desktop, this extension will certainly improve your workflow. Let's dive in and see how it works. First, uh, let's talk about the installation. Head over to the extension.gnome.org and then search for tiling cell and then click toggle switch to install it. If you haven't installed GNOME extensions before, you'll need to accept the browser prompt to enable extension installation. Once installed, you'll see a new icon in your system tray. Now let's go through every single setting and features in detail. Open up the extension settings by clicking the tile cell extension in your system tray. Starting with the appearance section, first option you'll see is show indicator. This simple toggle determines whether you want to see the panel indicator in your system tray. I recommend keeping this on so that you can easily access the settings. Next we have inner gaps. This setting currently is set to 16 pixels and this controls the space between your tile windows. You can increase this if you want more breathing room between windows or decrease it if you want to maximize the screen space. I personally find 16 to be a sweet spot but feel free to adjust it to your liking. The outer gap setting currently at 8 pixels controls the space between your windows and monitor borders. Again this is purely aesthetic. Increase it for more floating look or decrease it to use more screen real estate. Moving on to the blur option, this is marked as an experimental feature and it applies a blur effect to the snap assistant and tile previews. It adds a nice visual touch but might impact performance on older systems. The snap assistant threshold is set to 54 by default. This determines how close your mouse needs to be to trigger the snap assistant. A higher number means you don't need to get as close as to the edges, while a lower number requires more precise movements. Under window border, you can choose to show a border around your focused window. This can be helpful if you are working with multiple windows and want to quickly identify which one is active. The animation section lets you customize how windows move and resize. This can make your desktop feel more polished but you can turn them off for better performance. Now let's dive into the behavior section. The enable snap assistant toggle is crucial. This is what shows where your window will be placed when you drag it. It is incredibly helpful for precise window placement. The enable tiling system option lets you turn the entire tiling functionality on or off. By default, it uses control key as a modifier. This means you hold control while moving a window to activate tiling. Span multiple tiles is a powerful feature. Hold the Alt key and you can make windows span across multiple tile positions. This is perfect for when you need a window to take up more space than the standard tile. Enable auto tiling automatically tiles new windows to the best available position. This is great if you want a more hands-off approach to window management. The enable auto resize of the complementing tile windows option is particularly useful. When you resize one tile window, others will automatically adjust to maintain the layout. This keeps everything look clean and organized. 
Restore window size is a nice quality of life feature. When you untile a window, it returns to its original state instead of staying in the tile dimensions. The Add Snap Assistant and Auto Tile buttons to Window Menu adds these controls to your right click window menu, giving you more ways to control your windows. In the Screen Edges section, you can enable dragging windows against screen edges to resize them. The drag against top edge to maximize window lets you quickly maximize windows by dragging them to the top of the screen. The quarter tiling activation area slider, uh, it is set to be 40 by default and this determines how much of the screen edges trigger quarter tiling. Uh, this is the percentage of your screen size. Under layouts, you'll get powerful customization options. Click edit layouts to create custom tiling arrangements. You can export these layouts to share with other ones or import layouts you have found online. If uh, things get messy, the reset layouts button brings back the default settings. The key binding section is where the extension really signs. You can set up hotkeys for every action by default holding the super uh, key that is the window key plus arrow keys moves the windows between tiles. These shortcuts make window management lightning fast once you get used to them. And finally at the bottom of the settings you will find options to export and import your entire configuration. This is perfect for backing up your system or moving them to a new machine. And there's also a reset button if you want to start fresh. And that's everything about the tiling cell extensions. And I hope this helps you make your desktop more productive. And if so, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time.